Organizations can be thought of as brains. Brains make decisions, so do organizations. The wrong decision can have really bad consequences. So quality decision making is crucial and it is therefore that researchers have looked at decision making. They've come up with various ways to model decision making. There are four very crucial ones that we'll discuss today. The first one is the rational model. The second one we're going to talk about is bounded rational decision making. The third is the bureaucratics politics model. And the fourth is the garbage can model. Very crucial. Let's take a closer look at them. In the rational decision making model, we assume that the organization acts rationally and as a single actor, maximizing the best solution possible by choosing amongst a set of alternatives. The rational process starts by identifying a problem, determining the decision criteria, then generating alternative solutions and evaluating the best one, and then implementing it. The bounded rationality model of decision making recognizes that there are all sorts of constraints that make it very difficult to maximize a solution. Therefore, people will come up with a satisfactory one as opposed to a perfect one, given the constraints they operate under. These constraints could be time constraints, mental capacity limitations, the availability of only limited information and resources, as well as personal and social constraints. Intuitive decision making represents a version of this bounded rationality model. The bureaucratic politics model is really a combination of the bureaucratic and the political one. In the bureaucratic model, organizations have developed standard operating procedures for deciding on matters so that the wheel does not have to be reinvented each time. When matters have no standard operating procedures for dealing with them, that's when the political model kicks in. This model recognizes that the organization is not a single actor, but composed of various factions that pursue different goals. A decision represents the outcome of bargaining and power play between these factions. Cohen, March, and Olson developed the garbage can model. It really treats decision making as a black box, in the sense that we don't understand how the process itself actually occurs. Problems, solutions, participants, and opportunities for making a choice are mixed together, shaken around, and then we might arrive at different combinations. One of these may be that some problems are resolved. In essence, then, decisions are based on luck. So which model is best? Well, that depends. If you're in a stable environment, you have all the information and time at hand, maybe the rational model is best. If you're in an uncertain environment, you have no time, maybe you just need a bit of luck, like with a garbage can model. But what's most important? When you make a decision, make the right one.